Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game top five and... The Cardboard Stagger! And we're doing another top five video today. It's been a while, but it's oh, time. Oh, so, so long, so yes. long. And we and have... Hashtag just sells commentary. What? What? Look, <laughs> we got a Just Josh here! Yeah. <laughs> just Josh in the background. He's going to comment on the games. He'll give probably a special recommendation though as well. Here, there. But we're going to be doing a top five, my top five, Ferdinand's top five for what category? Of course. What else? What? At, at last. There you go. Yeah, oh. Top five dice games. Dice games. Games that mainly focus on die. We are using the half seas die sets. So we've got five of these. So we got we got these beautiful things here. And we also have the sandbox gaming die towers here that we'll be utilizing very, that are on nice. Kickstarter as well. Mm -hmm. So you can go ahead and pick up either one of these if you want. Yep, very beautiful. Hashtag not sponsored, just we like to use them and they are very, very nice. Beautiful. I back them, I have mine on the way sometime soon, so. All right, so we're doing top five die game, and what we always do to start the video off is we roll a die, highest number chooses who goes first, and then who goes second, and we'll just do commentary for each of the games, and Josh can comment as well if he's played the game and wants to talk about it in any way, and we'll just go ahead and get into it. I do love die. I got a big collection, so hey. All right, so are you right, ready? Roll a 20. Okay. Yes. Roll. Okay, I think roll I want... Roll a 20. Okay, you roll a 20, I roll a, a D4. No, no, you roll, no, you <laughs> roll a 20, he rolls a 4. We, let's, let's both roll 20s. Okay. 19. 19. Oh. Ooh, by uh, two. I'll go first. Okay. And in no exact particular order, I they're, they're kind of in order, but we'll start off with a small one here. This one here is called Robotech Ace Pilot. Love There's the two of them. This is the original one from SMG Strange Machine Games. Robotech Ace Pilot is a game in which you're going to be basically rolling die to gather specific characters. Those characters you'll use to fight against little tiles. These are the die here. Then you'll be using little, little extra um, tokens as well to do damage to specific baddies. These are all the different baddies in the game. And it's actually gonna come with this like grid in here. So there's a grid that you're going to set up. And as you roll the die, choose specific characters to do specific damage to the different baddies. You'll take those as victory points, and then whoever has the most victory points after a certain number of the stacks have been reduced is the winner of the game. It's rather simple. It feels a little bit like King of Tokyo, a little mix of a Yahtzee style game, and basically you're just battling as one of the characters in Robotech, and attempting to basically dominate the competition and it is a competitive game it plays two to four players i believe how long does it take it takes about probably 30 minutes it's That's really bad. quick yeah, really it's easy it's got a little extra cards in here as well and of course comes with a nice little robotech baggie too Very cool. nice. harmony gold jap anime games and smg a whole wow. plethora of people okay. really fancy game i really enjoy this game because it's quick it's fun it's family friendly and it's Hashtag really friendly. easy to play. It's something I could teach in about five minutes. People ah, really enjoy it. They jump in, we roll the die, we select our cards, and when we take those cards, nobody else can use the other ones. Ooh. And then the next player gets that. a chance to go to gather their cards. And you're not really aggressively messing with the other players, but what you are doing is taking specific pilots that they might want to use and using them just for yourself. Oh. Okay. So you can kind of control the outcome of the game as you select specific pilots based on what you roll. And there's certain things that let you re-roll die and change certain things. And of course you get a certain amount of re-rolls as well. But yes, Robotech, Ace Pilot. So not pilot. hate drafting, but selective drafting. Yeah, selective drafting. Okay. It's a lot of fun. Really quick, really easy. Something you can jump on. And it's really, it's rather uh, cost effective and mm. a fun game. I really enjoy this one. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple though. Yeah. Except I don't know anything about Robotech. <laughs> That's all I right. love Robotech. There's a lot of Robotech games. Uh, There's a lot of Robotech games. It's amazing. This is probably my favorite one of the bunch. Oh, There's cool. another one that's similar to this one as well. That I'll probably put a link, link down in the description. If you want to pick it up, you'll be utilizing vehicles as well in that one. But this one's a pretty, fun. pretty much straightforward one. We played that one, I believe, at Gen Con. I, think. I don't know if you yeah. were there to play it or not. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed Robotech Ace Pilot. Cool. Well, my turn. I got a small one too. Nice. And this one... Uh, well, this one's based on a card game that is uh, its so infamous in my life because it's just something that I, you know, people just go after me when I'm in any role in this game. Yeah. <laughs> You're a threat. You're good. No, it, it doesn't matter. It's a threat. I'm oh. good. A good guy. Even the, <laughs> even the, the good guys shoot me when well, I'm the good I'll guy. Just you're, you're good like you're talented at yeah. it. Yeah. I, and, and I, and I, and I kind of dismissed that game for now. You know, I haven't played in a while. <laughs> but this one, the, 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 they made a dice game into that, and that is 
a bang the dice game. Oh, it's a classic game. I yeah, would I know, say it's an older one, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, not classic. I would say the dice game is not as classic as the the card original game. one. Yeah. yeah. So this one instead, you're, this is a wild spaghetti western of just shooting out people. There's the sheriff. There's the deputy. There is the the outlaws, and there's the renegade. Except you know, everyone knows who the sheriff is. No one knows who else, anyone else because it's a secret role game. Because you wouldn't. Yeah. I mean. Really? Yeah, and the good, the good, the people, the law people, they want to fight the outlaws, and the outlaws want to fight the good. Just wants to kill the sheriff, and then the renegade is all by himself, and he wants to be the one by himself at the end of the game, which is the hardest role, but also I think one of the more fun roles as bang well. Bang the dice game or bang? Bang the dice game. Nice. Yeah, bang the dice game. And it, well, first of all, it's a, it's a much better production too, and and it's also much. It's, like it's prettier. Yeah, like the non-dice game. I like the version without dice, but I've not yet played this. I yeah, want to it, yeah. This one, I think it's a little bit more. It's a little faster. Um, right. The dice, I, the dice place is interesting. So it's very yacht CS where you I move these stuff up, but you get five dice and there's stuff. Oh, so, especially die. Okay. Yeah. So, yep. And all, all the same. So let me tell you what to do. What you don't want is dynamite. You get three dynamite. You know, these are the ones that just self-locked. If you get three, kaboom, one life lost. Blows up in your face. Yeah. We got you got beer. Of course, you know what that does, right? Yes. Yeah, you know, you know what that <laughs> does, right? Well. <laughs> you got you got these. You, you got your shoots. Yep. You know, you, I think you need a couple. I haven't played this in a while, but I think you need a couple there in, in order to shoot somebody across the room. And then you also have these arrows, which is you get arrowed, and the, uh, there's a bunch of arrows in the middle, and they been given up. When all of them are give up, they all fire. They all shoot, and that's how much life you get. <laughs> you lose. Oh. And my favorite one is the Gatling gun because you get the Gatling gun, you get to shoot everyone. So you cool. need at least three of these in the game. So it's one of those ga games where you roll, you can lock him, you can roll him again. Oh, I got a dynamite, so you can't lock that. Get a little drunk, shoot somebody, blow yeah. it up. Yeah. First, you can't get drunk, but you can drink as much beer you want, so why not? While hey. playing the game. Yeah. <laughs> and every character is unique in this game. Ooh. Yeah. Three to eight players, eight and up. 30 mm -hmm. minutes to play? Yeah. That's pretty good it was up to eight. Because a lot of you know games only go up to like four or six. Eight's impressive. I like yeah, that. Yeah, So and then there's an expansion I haven't played yet, but yeah, this is one this is one of my favorites. Even though it's I I like the car I would say I would like the car game, but mm -hmm. I like this one so much better. Nice. Okay. That was number five. Number four. Oh, number four now. Let's roll it. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We're doing four. Why won't we do a D four? Okay. That fits. <laughs> Two. Four. Hey, hey. Me first, me first. <laughs> right, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, it's okay. So, yeah, my, my particular order is in no particular no order. order. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do have it slightly. Like particular that, order is this... not in order. <laughs> I'll do my best to order okay, them. Let's do my biggest box one. Okay, so we got this one. Big box. Big box. This is something that's been out for a while. It says Manila. Yeah, so this is a betting game of where you get these riverboats full of goods and you're trying to bet which one will go to the very end and you'll be uh, people were putting and it's a, it's it's work replacement is it like lifeboats hmm. no it's not like what like okay. you won't no yes no i would say no okay yeah, it looks like it can be like like you're lifeboats. moving you're trying to move around and trying to like is it a race game then well well, well it's not a race well it's a race the boats are racing hmm. but the thing is your boats have to make it at the end of the round in order for it to score. So they'll be stopped along the way. Yeah, yeah. So even though even though the the dice mechanic in this game is you know it's relatively supported, it's one of the most exciting parts in it, in it because you know it's like that last thing he needs a sixth in order to get onto the port or else it'll be deterred. But the thing is, you can go bet you can bet on the boats that are going to go to port or going you know get the damage and go off and you can port. get screwed over in this game quite oh yes like, you can if you don't get what okay. you need oh and, the, and, and this is why because this is the worker placement is you put a guy on a place and they can manipulate the boat up and down or you can bring cold or my favorite is the pirates where if the boat lands right at the very end the pirates you know commandeer the <laughs> the boats and pirates, you get, you say. yeah well, and you pirates. get all the stuff in there so and for and then you, so you can manipulate your chances of getting successful rolls on the dice to then make it into the port or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, okay. well, so it's it's, it's um, one person is the first player. Well, they, they get the bid to position the boats, which is the, that's which is like the very first part of the game. And they get to they spend their points of which boats will go further first, which go back first, and then you got three about I think three rounds for the boats to go into port. 
Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, it, it has a, a feel of lifeboats, I guess. Instead of like oh. drowning your people, though, you're attempting to get your boats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's what for me. It's a it's a it's a betting game. For that. Okay. Yeah. Drowning and, people does something bad. <laughs> I haven't played it. <laughs> yeah. No, this is fun. Unfortunately, this is a counterfeit copy. But oh, but the you, game the game is. Like, look in the back. That's Chinese right there. Yeah, yeah. But the game is very hard to find, and I wish to be printed it. This one because it's a, it's such a fun game. Three to five players, yeah. ten minutes or ten and up, and sixty minutes to play. Is that about right? Mm -hmm. What's the original language? Is it Chinese or? I think um, it's German. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's a German game. It's vanilla. Okay. I'm Filipino, so it's like there's not very many games about the Philippines, but here's one of them, hmm. and it's you know. It's, and you enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, I there love you go. Yeah, okay. I like the game. Beautiful. All right. All right. What do you got, Mike? <sighs> My next one here is the game Seasons. Oh, it's been a while. Seasons. Fun game. Seasons is by Little Bob, and it is two to four players, 16 minutes for ages 14 and up. And in the game, you are basically going across different seasons. You'll be rolling die, attempting to gather points, I suppose. It's got beautiful artwork, which is one of my favorite parts yeah. about the game. Tons and tons of high-quality components. It's something that... When you, I mean, the gameplay itself is fine. Like, it's not like amazing gameplay to me, but it's definitely loved it's by a lot of people. But I just love the feeling of the game that I get as I'm playing it. I feel like the seasons are moving across. It comes with really nice big die that are etched and beautiful. They feel good to roll in your hand. And I have four different sets of these. Yeah, they're, they're chunky. They are nice that. and chunky. They feel I good. Like I like it when I feel like I'm doing something in the game just by rolling them die. They've got that feeling to them. The artwork is, like I said, just phenomenal in this game. Players are definitely competing against each other and making choices strategically as they go around the board and collecting certain things and doing certain things. It's, it's just got a lot of theme attached to the game and the die themselves kind of combine with that feeling of theme the matters because that you know that affects immersion in the game and the completability of the story and what you're doing but yeah it's it's great i, just, I yeah. really really like this game yeah, i played it i played it a couple times too i love the you know the dice dice works in the game because the dice you have to you got to earn your dice in order to yep yeah <laughs> yeah you have to earn your dice and even that too like just the production quality of the game is so nice it's so well mm. Put together too. They made and this, you know, this is an older game, not super old, but they made sure that this was going to look good and present well on a table, and it does just that as well. So it's a game I've kept in my collection for a long time now, so and I probably won't be getting rid of it anytime soon because mm -hmm. I just really appreciate the style of the game and the theme yeah. of the game. Seasons. That's number four. Okay. Number three. Let's do this. What are you going to do? What are we going to do with three? I'm gonna do a let's do a six sided die. Six sided die. Yeah. Very roll three. Yeah. Six. Five. Okay. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go first so I can go last on the last one. <laughs> That's how it works. Depends on the die. Yeah. Number three. It's called Roll for Adventure by Cosmos. Fitting for a dice video. Roll, Roll for Adventure. Adventure is a cooperative game where you are working together with your comrades in different locations to roll die and get specific objectives completed. There's a ton of different combinations you can create while you form the board. There's a ton of different monsters in the game that you're going to be dealing with. The quality of the components is very nice. This was one of my favorite games from Cosmos, but until recently, or one of them actually beat this one out. Um, really? But it's Ooh. very, very nice. These <laughs> die here are beautiful die as well. It comes with a custom die as well. It's not, it is screen printed on that die specifically, but the gameplay itself is a lot of fun. It's challenging. All the boards are double sided, so you can fight against either of the sides that you want. And you're going to create this big customized board where you can kind of select based on what die you roll, where you want to place the die, and how you're going to gather specific objectives. And it does a great job of that. It feels really good to unlock certain spaces on the board as you're cooperatively trying to help your opponents deduce what the best decision is for your roles are. There's not as much uh, 
there's not much of an ability for in a, like a normal cooperative game so somebody can like manipulate another player on their turn what's it called where a player is specifically messing where we're like oh, i'm going to control this you need to do that and roll this the game master kind of thing can, you know, alpha gamer? alpha gamer yeah. yeah there's not as much of that going on in this game because what you roll is going to be really de determined by what you really want to do there's no really wrong answer in the game but there is probably a right answer when it comes to a very specific role that you are looking to get so in the end, if you roll two sixes or two ones and, I don't know, a three and a four or whatever, you can be like, I'm going to put these two sixes here. That's where you need to put those. And I'm going to put the threes over here and a one over here. And that satisfies the conditions for this specific thing, granting me this. And now it's your turn. Hmm. And yes, you can have somebody do a little bit of alpha gaming, but it's just not as necessary in this game. And in fact, you don't even need to talk to each other as to how you want to play so the die. Still a choice and I would do. strongly suggest you don't. Just let people play their turns. Each player is also going to get a specific character, and these characters are going to have unique abilities in the game. Artwork is phenomenal. Very, very nice. High quality game from Cosmos. Roll for Adventure. It plays two to four players, ten and up, and takes about half an hour to play, which is about accurate. A That's quick game. Quick. Very quick game, yep, and uh, very enjoyable. If you want to increase the difficulty, you can put more dice bosses and more scary monsters. Too, so if you have your own collection, and you're a dice head like I am. You can use your own dice if you want to for the six sided. So yeah, I have yep. I have the game. I haven't played it yet. Really, yeah. it's good. It's a very good cooperative game. If you like cooperative games, which you're kind of like a I hope I'm not mix. That yet. Yeah, I'm very mixy. Yeah, you know, you know the thing is, yeah, I, I kind of like uh, cooperative games when they have dice in it. I guess. Yeah. yeah, it's it's fun. Play. It's like it's like a cooperative King of Tokyo kind of. Yeah. Well, for for most part, like you know, when like you're you, you have pressure on you, right? And like you have to get that dice roll. Sure. Everyone's rooting for you to get that right roll. Yeah. Everyone wants you to oh, succeed. And you hate when you whiff. And you know, and you kind of know where you want to place the die. You know, there like I said, there's no wrong answer. But there's only certain spaces you can place certain die. So you're all working together. You know where you need to place certain die. It's a matter of can you roll it? Can you mitigate that? And what spaces with those numbers can you best utilize them in? Uh, I played it many times, though. And mm -hmm. I've always enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Always had a great experience with it. So number number three there. All right. My number three. Yep. Let's pull this one out. Three. Number three. Well, why, why? mine has the <laughs> dice in its name. So Dice Town. Dice Town. <laughs> Metagot. Fitting. Yeah, or another Madigo? another Western game. Madago, yeah. Madago, which one? Madago. Madago. I say Madago. I think it's Madago. I think you're right. Yeah, and this one I I gotta I gotta put up pieces in there. So this one you're trying it's got to get cups in it too. Yeah, it? this one you yeah this one you're trying to you're re-rolling and you're trying to get the best kind of rolls you get to get to uh, occupy places oh. in Dice Town in order to score a lot of points. So you're trying there's a lot of ways to get points. Wait, is it a half? Point oh yeah, you, a yeah, Heck you gotta yeah. Shake, yeah. So you, you know like you, you gotta. You know, roll it that way and skill. And these are poker dice too. These are these are quite um kind of like an old system, but they they're they're here in this game and they're really ni wow. nicely using there. So there's like ways to get points. There's go you can go to the gold mine. There's you go places to go to get the uh, real estates. Kind of like the was Oregon. Like, cups like that was like Ace Deuce, like an actual old yeah. school game. And yeah, and so yeah. So and then um here's the board. So thing is, yep. you don't want to step where anyone else is stepping on or or going to. Or else you won't be able to go to that area. Yeah. Or they, or they get, or they get first dibs first. So, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I only played this only a couple times. I wish I could explain it better, but I, I, I just love that. That's a, uh, it has the die, the poker dice game. Yeah. I never, I never seen it, that's seen that kind anymore. of. Yeah. yeah. Are you actually yeah. going to be utilizing them as like a nine, ten, jack, queen, king, right? And well, you yeah. Can put them together. Yeah, nine, jack, pairs, create mm -hmm. that kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. So you got like, well, well, for the for the most part, you can, you can like go to the bank or go to the to like the, the saloon. saloon but you need to get more of those dice out town hall yeah and in there so you can literally competitive go, yeah. i'm guessing of course it's competitive and what's the play three players this one says two to two five. five yeah okay. this is the and this is the older edition so you want to look for the newer edition it does have expansions to it too uh -huh. yeah so that's one uh, dice town dice town wonderful and you guys heard of any of these games before? Let us know what you guys think. Yeah. And also, of course, let us know what your favorite dice games yeah, what are. Dice games you play? We have a lot of people talking awesome. about. We had dice throwing being just thrown around as well as. Yeah. What, what is your favorite die? What's your favorite die? <laughs> oh, check out my blog. I you know you want to talk about die. I've got a whole <laughs> list of different types. Yeah, he's got dies. actually you know, a list on the website. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll link the die site in the website. The bigger dice than a D twenty. Is that crazy? There's like a D100 too. Yeah, well, there's big ones. <laughs> I don't have a D100 yet, but I have a D60, and I've got a D20 that has a D20 inside it, so you can roll two D20s at once. With one die. Round two. <laughs> two. 
two. What are we rolling? Mm. Two yeah. would be a coin normally, but uh, let's go ten because you can go fifty fifty. Ten, yeah, okay, ten. Uh, zero is ten. I roll a seven. A ten. Hey. Oh, actually, this is a one, isn't it? No, that's a ten. Oh, yeah, you, you rolled the ten. you okay. rolled the hundred. No, ten. you rolled the hundred. That's why it's a one then. Oh yeah. It's a one. It's, it's a, a one. one. Yeah, it's that's a why one. You, that and yeah, you rolled percentage dice. So. Um, I corrected myself. I'm not okay. sneaky. I corrected myself. <laughs> I'll go first again so I can go last on the last one. I feel like that's how the best way it's going to be. Okay. <laughs> this one here, you're in for a treat. Most of you probably haven't heard of this one before. I have not played that. This is called Untold Adventures Await. This is an RPG board game. Really? And it utilizes die. It utilizes story cubes. Story cubes are usually, usually used for when you, like... You need an idea of like what a villain is, whatever. You can roll these die, and then you can create the villain for your story, creating it and in, in, uh, integrating it into your RPG. Story cubes are usually used as a way to tell a story with dice, and you can utilize certain die, and it'll give you certain answers. And with Untold Adventures Away, it's hub games, and also Story Cube is kind of with it as well. And by that I mean that they give them a certain number of die to utilize, but you can use any Story Cube game dice with this game. So. I have personally uh, wanted to pick up some extra story cubes just for this game here. Hmm. You're going to get a play board. It's going to have a scene. It's going to have the uh, fast forwarding, flashbacks. You can kind of like, in, in your story, you can say, I'm going to tell a flashback, and you can use that <laughs> flashback token. You can modify an event. You can give an idea. And then, of course, there's tokens you can utilize, and you can pause and play the story whenever you guys want to discuss something about it. Then you're going to have this board, which is obviously going to have the double um, thickness Ooh. to it. Nice and you're replacing the different types of stories uh, and aspects into the game. So, for instance, the truth gets revealed, and you'll flip this over. So you'll place it like this, and you don't know what's going to happen because you don't know what's on the other side. You'll flip this over. It's also double Ooh. thickness. And then you'll be able to utilize the oh, die, nice. yeah, so. roll the die, and place it in. And based on what it looks like, you're going to tell a story. And these are different. So if the truth has been revealed and someone died, and you have this little clock with a time zone, or it looks like a Z's on a character, you can Those determine maybe they died level. in their maybe they died in their sleep, maybe they uh, spent a long time and lived and, and you know had a great life. You can kind of do any of that kind of stuff with the game, and you can create your own ideas and your own thoughts. And there's a bunch of different types of cards for each of the different slots. The plot thickens, and there's two people, one's good and one's bad. And you can roll the die, and then you'll utilize it in some way. Maybe L. Maybe there's a character named Lucifer in there because he's so a bad villain. You have to come with a story based on the roll. And you tell the story based on the roll of the die. I like and that. And you also will integrate into the story that they kind of give you. And like the there's there. reaction cards that you can use. Like, for instance, the event is now actually a bad event. Or perhaps it's a painful event. Or maybe it's a Lovesick smuggy something. or whatever. You know, and you create the the idea in your in your head, and then you tell it out loud and make an adventure uh, of your own making. You know, this you create an really adventure fun. of your own making. Uh, not only that too, but you get a character profile. You get a Ooh. story uh, episode that. guide. <laughs> so you'll create the different. You can make it episodic if you want. You can have your own character with their backstories. On the back, it tells you what items they gather, their status, how they're doing, if they passed on, if you need to make a new character. It's basically like a, it's a family version of D and D put together with story cubes and beautiful qu content quality. I have really, really enjoyed this game. I've played this a few times now. It's a longer game, and when you play it, when I play it, I usually like to play with multiple, um, I usually like to play it with multiple people and over a multitude of, of, of time. Uh, you know, like sort of really events, creative. episodes. You've got a lot of versatility, but for people who maybe have a little bit of trouble coming up with, okay, what story do I want to tell, it gives you enough guidance to give you like a framework, and then you make up the rest on your own. Yep. Uh, it's one to four players, but really that's a lie. You can play with as many players as you'd like. Mm -hmm. People can jump in and just listen to the story as it's being told. You can switch between people. Uh, of course, it only comes with four player boards. So if you wanted to, you could even buy an extra copy. Two copies, yeah, and or three, it, whatever. Yeah. And then you can, twelve and then, people. And then you can also you buy need. extra yeah. story cubes to make sure that your stories are everlasting and the types of ideas that you want to come up with. It's just a good way of people who are newer to RPGs and don't have that huge vivid imagination, like myself. I'm not a big D and D fan. I'm not very. I like it, but I'm not very good at it. Like right? just the way it functions. So with this, it gives me that like framework to make it a fun game. Untold really Adventures cool. of wow. Light, Story Cubes, and I want to try games. it now. Yeah, same. <laughs>
There you go. Maybe, hopefully that one will be a good one for you guys to take a look at. Okay. I guess my turn now. It is. Number two. Number two. Just for you. This is two and uh, fits perfectly because it, it's, a, it's a sequel to a card game. Another card game. <laughs> That's now the, the, the dice a card game. game not the dice a... is sequel. Oh, yeah. I know what this one is. Oh, great. Yes, you know. It's Herbaceous Herbaceous. Sprouts. Now, Herbaceous. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, Herb... I remember that game. Now, Original Herbaceous is a, a card game, which I totally love. I love the game. The it's, first game yeah. we played... Uh, by ourselves, I mm -hmm. think. It was the first two-player game we ever played, and then we had somebody else join us. When we were, uh, we hung out at the... Uh... Tukan? No, 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 at the, the, the game night thing, the place. We, we played you, the Unusual Suspects, and then we played, um... And then we played Celestia, and then we played this one. No, 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 no. This, not this one, no, but no, the, Herbaceous. The, oh, original the, the original Herbaceous. one, yes. yes. Love Herbaceous, card game, push your luck. Guess what this one is? It's a bit, bit of push your luck as well. It's very similar, but using dice. Yep, so this... Isn't all dice technically push your luck? When really? Well, when the main mechanics is about trying to do it again, but better, but yeah, risking. Because yeah. yeah. sometimes <laughs> okay. you might roll the die and just get unlucky and that's it. In this one here, you have the opportunity to mm -hmm. kind of continue at a cost. Yeah. Okay. So this one is, in, uh, this one, instead of cards, now it's dice. The, what you get are the seeds, which is the dice here, the different colors. And you're trying to do, is you're trying... Is printed? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's printed. printed. It's, yeah, the screen printed. Okay. So you, you you would take dice. But it's easier because they are definitely more uh, illustrated too. Gotcha. Which makes sense. That's why they do that. They're colored too. They're actually rather rather okay. nice screen printed dice. So so there'd be cards. It's it's a little bit of a drafting game. So you have cards here. The person would roll. There'd be dice here. Be put onto these cards here, and you'll be able to take them. And then you're able to put it onto your. Garden area. Gar yeah, your garden area. Well, you, you won't be taking them all on one. You just reviewed yeah. a game by Pencil First called Liftoff. Did, it's indeed. the same company. Get me Remember off this that? planet. Yeah. yeah, it was a fun game. Yeah. Really fun game. Yeah, he makes great games. Yeah. And so, uh, what you're trying to do, you're trying to trade in your pieces, depending on where they are on the board, or how you're going to score them, that's how how many points you're going to get. And the more, the yeah, and the more, you, and the more the more you do, which is more difficult, uh, it's going to score you more points. For example, this part of the board says you need the same types of herbs here. So you need to turn in the same I types that's of herbs. Set. Yeah, turn in, uh, turn more herbs. The more you get do so, this is you need to turn six dice, and that's very hard to get in this game. And you get twelve but it's a lot points. Of points. Yeah. yeah. This one here is different, right? And this is the easiest, right? And there's more spots for this. Like you turn on five, variety. the first one can get eight, then six. Right, and there's also flowers, which has a different scoring. But in the game, you also have some weeds popping out. So there's, it's kind of like a little. Buggers. It progresses. They come out after a while. Yeah. And they start yeah. bothering so, you. So, so you want to hold on to your stuff, or or would you gonna put it down before the weed pops up and make the soil spoil? Oh, at least they're pretty <laughs> much That's a new weeds. mechanic. I don't remember that in the original one. Because remember the cards? Yeah, you were trying to. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. In the dice game, yeah, this is the yeah. this one of the new things. The dice it game. It feels like huh. herbaceous, but it's different. Yeah, I don't understand why the same mechanic is in there with these, especially these three. Like sense, but it's yeah. like I can't understand why it's different. Do you enjoy this one more? I I don't know. I don't know because I I think it depends on your time. This is definitely a little longer. Yeah, it's right? a little it's longer. It's a little more complex, mm -hmm. uh, and it's got a little more like a, a rules explanation. And herbaceous is a little simpler, a yeah. little straightforward, less time, not as like difficult to make choices in it. So yeah, but I'm I'm so happy to have both of them on my shelves because they do, they they do different outlets. So yeah, I, I wouldn't with, get rid of either one either. Yeah, so one's the card game, right? I know where all the cards are in the in the deck. They're gonna come up and <laughs> and stuff. This one is a lots is dice, and you gotta you gotta think about probability, which dice is coming, kind of, which one's gonna help you more. Which, will you will you trade in your dice for this one? They come with this bag yeah. too. Yeah, oh, that's a nice bag. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice bag. So Ferdinand is saying, if you're playing against him, bet on him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no, I go a little crazy with my with my stuff. I would hold on to the stuff until like it's time to really just give okay. it up. Okay. In there. This is an excellent game. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, it almost hit my list, but I figured Ferdinand was going to have it on. Yeah. My list was games that. I really enjoyed, but I also want them to be something that you might not have heard of before as well. Hmm. Except for two of them. I'm pretty sure you guys have probably heard of Seasons and the next one coming up. No, I, I really want to play Untold. That sounds a lot of fun. And I think of, before yeah, we... Yeah, so before we reveal our number one, I want to talk oh, about some honorable mentions that we may want to talk about. Sure. We can talk about some honorable you mentions. You can't dodge D&D. 
D and D is the original dice rolling game that they no, were all story. No, no, oh, is it, isn't it isn't it backgammon a dice game before D and D? Yeah. Touche. <laughs> Touche. Yeah. Which I know is Ace what about Yahtzee? But same game. What about uh -huh. Yahtzee? Is that an older one too? It, it is. Actually, I'm not sure which is how, older, backgammon how, or Yahtzee. No, no, no. Yahtzee's newer. Yeah, backgammon okay. is old. Old, old. It's old. Like ancient, older than older, older than chess. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. I think older than Senate, which is the Egyptian game, or okay. or, or, or whatever it is. I mean... So Mesopotamian, Ma or...? It could be. could be. <laughs> okay. I didn't bring any wow. honorable mentions, but I'm just going to list them really quick. You have Dice Throne, King of Tokyo, and King of New York, of course. <sighs> I love King Games. Elements is another one, and they all kind of play the same as far as fighting against your opponents. One is a little bit more of an arena game, the Dice Throne one, which has a ton of different seasons and characters. But I wanted to mention those ones because they're very popular. They're very... Easy games to get to the table, very, very family friendly, and simple to learn. If you're interested in those type of games, I strongly suggest you take a look at them. Because more people can play them faster. Yeah, and so that's it. That's just a couple of those guys wanted to talk about, which yeah. I don't know if you have them. Or I, I, I got some. Strike. Yep. Strike's a great one. It's super. It's, it's not. It's not super simple. It's stupid simple. Yeah. You just throw <laughs> dice and you see you get stuff or not. Yep. <laughs> and, no, but we're yep. forgetting risk. Risk is another big dice game that no, a lot of people played for years. I don't know that game can last for it's days. It's not a dice game though. It's area it is, control. It is. It's area no, control. Just but because use you dice roll to dice to prevent. fight. Yeah, but using dice is not necessarily a dice game. Like the others, you roll dice. You know, every mini game ever, you roll dice. Well, but and, they're not dice and games. And literally every interaction you have with Risk is dice involved. Yeah. Well, 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 there's a there's, there's a dice involved games that have dice in it. Or just dice games. Or for example, like Betrayal has dice in it, in it. but you don't call Betrayal the dice game. Yeah, because no, you know, the <laughs> you dice know, are based on your you know, your skill levels, and everything else. You don't, yeah, you don't say you don't say Risk the dice game. And there, in fact, there is a race Risk the dice game. There oh, is. Really? Yeah, there's a Monopoly the dice game. Well, it's called game Risk. Okay. It's called I've Risk Express. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Monopoly is always kind of uh, for the gaming community anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's not sold what here. What happens when you land on free space? Nothing? No never knows. Nothing happens. <laughs> that's what's supposed to happen, but everyone has house rules. Yeah. Um, anyway. roll, yeah, Roll for the Galaxy, that's another favorite of mine, too. Uh, okay. I like Race of the Galaxy. I think Roll for the Galaxy is a bit more well-polished, I think, and I think there's one more. I think I can't take it to the top of my head. Oh, Fleet the Dice game, which has dice in it, but it's more just a roll and write. It's like a roll and write game, but it's that your dice, you're not really using it. I mean, you get to pick what's I mean, where, whatever's yeah, there. Yeah, I thought about a lot of the Roland Rights too. Like, I mean, Biblios, the Quill and Parchment, that new one, I really like that by Doctor Doctor Finn Games. Yeah, it's a dice game. It is like it's Yahtzee, right? Mm -hmm. So I, but like, there's so many of those that I really enjoyed that I was gonna like go crazy yeah, with. I, I, because it's just like you know, you can use the dice mechanically, like in the game, as the really ingrained part of the game of how you're using it, versus if it's just in there for like randomization. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can just, if it can't be replaced with like a, a, a deck of cards, right? Yeah. Well, that's just, where yeah. roll the move is a problem because, I mean, yeah. yeah, you have dice. I mean, have you played, did you play the roll Biblios the Roll and Write one? Oh, uh, no, I did not. Oh, it's good. No. It's good. I mean, it's, it's a great dice game. Um, I think I even have it. It's like it's under here it's somewhere. Like, it's, like oh. saying, it's, like, it's like saying Biblios is a dice game. It has dice in it. No. But you don't use the <laughs> dice as dice. Yeah, but no. <laughs> Biblios, the Pult Quill and Parchment is actually, a, it's literally, it's like Yahtzee, but you're utilizing like three different parts to three different boards. And like, there's all this kind of, it's all dice though. So it's a really, it's a dice game. I mean, I just, I, there's just so many different like rolling rights that I really enjoyed that I could talk about forever. Mm -hmm. uh, that I was like leaning away from talking about them. Yeah. Otherwise, my list right. might be all rolling. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the, the what's the way I, when I pick when I pick these games is like there's dice in this game. Maybe but we'll do a top five rolling right. Yeah. That's how many rolling yeah, rights I have. Could be a thing. Yeah. Are we doing? Can we, we're doing can a, we number one? one. Number one. Number one, and then we'll let Josh talk about one of his games. Who wants to well, go I've first? You want, you want to go so. first? No, no, we gotta roll. That is oh. that <laughs> is the rule. All right, which one is the rule? Twenty. Gotta be twenty. No, D eight. Eight. Why? Do we, do we have? Have we done a D eight yet? I don't think so. Actually, no, we have, yeah. Look, we have. So, go for it. There we go. What's it gonna be? Six. Three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am looking forward to hearing. Smell of victory. Girl, girl game because. I remember that well. All right, I'll go first. I'll, I'll let Ferdinand have the. Are you sure? Yeah. It's your choice. I know. I've got so excited throughout the entire video, <laughs> but I feel like this this calm has settled over me. To, I need to 
I need to unpack myself and allow. Okay, guess what? Guess what? It's not, these are number. I would say these are not our number one, but these are super good games. Yeah. 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 This one is called Kingsburg. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is by yes. Fantasy Flight Games. Kingsburg is an amazing die game where you basically have your own board. You're trying to create a kingdom and you're utilizing die to acquire patronage from the people on the board. Of course, based on what you die, your die roll is who you'll get patronage from. And as long as nobody else has patronage currently on those player board areas, then you'll be able to gather that specific reward or resource to utilize to create unique and new buildings. You'll be dealing with seasons, types of bad guys potentially, you're going to be dealing with the other players trying to take spaces from you. It's a little aggressive, but it's really more about what you roll and how you choose to utilize your die. I think it's a beautiful idea of what a die rolling game is, and it's something that I, ha I haven't seen a lot of games that do something like this. There are a lot of games where you roll the die and then you place it on the board and get the effect, but this one has something special to it based on just how many different spaces there are and how you need to utilize. It's so funny when you you need to utilize a certain space somebody's <laughs> always going to have that space and you're always like going back and forth with each other the artwork is beautiful the quality of the components is wonderful everything about this game is so enjoyable the game's not super long but it's long enough to where you feel like you've played a full game you might want to play again and it's in fact smooth. if you've only played it yeah. once it's got a smooth feel to it all the dice are nice quality they're basically just standardized die but i just really really enjoyed kingsburg and i think for the most part anybody i've ever sat down and played this game with has enjoyed it as well i've never heard somebody say kingsburg it's, and no it's thank super you interesting of how, how how the dices are used too because you can get you can get an extra die, you get to manipulate your die because uh, the yeah. number of pips on your die is like where you want to so go on the game. Board. It has an right? expansion too, which I've never played. And I've always oh. wanted to play, but oh, it just gives you a bigger it gives you a bigger board. Yeah, yeah, it gives you more stuff. right? You should get it soon. Yeah. Really? Is it gonna go out of? Well, the thing is, one? you got the first edition here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And um, this is the better looking edition. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But yeah, it comes with a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's got different tokens. Here's on the die. But yeah, I just really, really like Kingsburg. Yeah, it's never going to leave my collection. Yeah. I, I just love that mechanic of, like, you know, like you can put more dice out on this spot, but you're also not getting a lot more stuff. But you get really oh. nice stuff as you go higher. Imagine getting an 18. An 18, oh gosh. King and Queen are what's up. Yeah. Queen's what's really up. <laughs> yeah, this this game's just a lot of fun. I can't tell you how many times I've played this game. It's been a game. I played it, but honestly, it's a good game. Whenever I play, like, whenever we have friends over that just want to jump down and play a game, uh, usually we play, like, if they want to play a game, they like Sheriff of Nottingham, that kind of thing. Um, and I enjoy those, but for me fun personally, I would sit there and go, let's play Kingsburg if we got four or less players. And I always have a great time playing it. It's a solid play, like, every time. Okay. My, my turn. The All last right. game. No, the I'm last gonna, I'm gonna critique you real hard okay. now. Number so this one. one, I this one was quite a pick for me because I still remember liking an, a previous game that's in the same style of this kind of game, mm. right? Really loving it. Okay. Then absolutely disgusted by it. Really? Mm. Yeah. And so, but just because it's like. I don't know how a game gets worse with expansions, and the expansions just made it worse. But you liked it a lot before. I used to like it a lot, and That's I wish weird. it was. Do you yeah. still own it? It's in it's in the back. So it's not in your. It's, in the, it's yeah. not in the shelf Regular of shame. Shelf. Yeah. It's like it's in behind the shelf of shame, yeah, under a closet. It's, a closet. It's, it's, <laughs> in, it's in the box of to sell. Oh, oh no. no. All right, now what is it? I want to okay, know. So yeah. this this is the replacement for this game because I absolutely love it, and it's, it's oh space. I base. love space base. Space base. Yeah, I got boy. my butt kicked at it, but I love to it. To be fair, this was gonna be in my list, but I I totally forgot though. But I I, I knew he was gonna pick it. Uh, and I was like, you know what? Okay, I'll find something else. But this one definitely would hit my top five. It would it would probably push off. Robotech. <laughs> wow. It would probably, well, okay. it would. It was a lot one, of fun. One, 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 one of my favorite mechanisms in the game that tears boredom is when you are you have a turn every turn. <laughs> when you when you have a turn every turn? Yeah. Every turn, when someone else when is it's turning, your turn, I get to do something. Yeah. That's what feels okay. good. It feels awesome. good that yeah. you roll and I get something. Yeah. So you have a reactive. I like being active because then I'm not sitting there bored. So you have, a, you have your active turn when you roll the dice, and you also have a reactive turn when someone else rolls the dice. 
And so you always, so you're also building that way as well in this game. Because yeah, you want actions based on everybody else's roles. Yeah. So this is mainly uh, a game you you use you use two dice, right? Or one or two dice? Two dice. Yeah, two dice. Do you have Shy Pluto, the expansion? I, this, I want to play the base game. I really want to play those expansions. <laughs> oh, I've got it. It's all nice and snug. Is there more than one now? There is more than one. I think there's there? more than one. So John, give me it. And then, <laughs> this, is a, this is a point race game, right, too? Yep. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, I wish I can play it more. I haven't played it in a while, though, but you I played it together with the designer, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah. I, yeah, I, no, I didn't say it. I got my butt kicked. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's hard. He's yeah. hard. He's, he's, <laughs> he's brutal. Mean. Yeah. Nice he guy. Will run you over. Super nice guy, but he will destroy you. Like, he will steal you. He doesn't even mind. He just like. He knows the game. Yeah, he knows his game. <laughs> he knows so. his game. Uh, Mystic Veil, too. I got so much Mystic Veil. Now. I remember the last time anyway. I've been run over so hard yeah. since. This like, is great. Yeah, well, excellent monsters. game. Yeah, so the thing is, well, the game, let me explain the game just really quick. You get these boards. It's Machi Koro. Yeah. But way better. Yeah. You got cards here. They'll be like one to twelve, two dice, right? You can, yep. you, you can either put two, like a, you can use one of the dice for like a three and the five, you roll that, or you can combine and use the eight. Yep. You have the option, just what like you in Machi Koro. What do you think is gonna be? Excuse me. What do you think is gonna be rolled? And not only that, but like when another player takes their turn, because unlike Machi Koro, there's going to be cards that function on your turn and cards that function on your opponent's turns. And as you gather more cards that function on your turn, the cards that previously functioned on your turn will go and be turned over and become cards that function on other people's turns. And you'll start comboing. And it's it's a lot of fun. I yeah. love the amount of and it's great mechanics because, in this game. Sometimes you want to build up to a way that you're like, oh, like, I want to my po my opponents to roll uh, to make my money. Yeah, yeah. And so he's like, wait, I come on, roll the six, and then you roll the six, and you get to buy all the nicer stuff. But the thing is, you can only buy one thing a turn, I believe, most of the time. Yes, you can buy one. Yeah. Unless there are ways that you can manipulate that and get more buys, mm -hmm. and there's and there's plenty of ways that you can use utilize tokens. And there's, and there's so stuff. many the strategies to go. That you can build that way. You can build like the the the, the freaking like. Higher value stuff, you're never going to get it, but if you get it, it's a you big hope. payout. Oh, you really hope. actually, yeah. <laughs> there is cards in here when you buy the 10, 11, and 12 spaces, which you have to roll a 6 and a 6 for a 12. Good luck. There are cards maybe in the 7 area that will let you swap them with the 12 area. <laughs> oh. and I utilize love that. those cards to become more powerful. It's just, this is just, uh, somebody played Machi Koro and saw it and was like, there can be some really cool, there's like a really cool aspect to this game, which I enjoy, mm -hmm. right? And then they're like, here, we're going to make this. And it was just, it's just way better. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, it's, it is a Machi Koro killer. More mature destroys mechanics. destroys that game and all the expansions attached to it. It just yeah. has more mature mechanics. Yeah. I just enjoy it. I just really, really like it. It's, it's great. It's a dice game. I mean, and you, you have a turn every turn. <laughs> I like the cover, but I, I don't like the rulebook cover. That's my only one critique on this thing. Is the okay. rulebook cover is just kind of cheesy. Fine, you know. But yeah. otherwise, amazing. <laughs> there, I gave my one critique for there, one of my one of my favorite game, games. Yeah, we got run over oh, by yeah. John. Like, yeah. totally curb stopped. <laughs> did you? Did not, he didn't sign yours. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Why well, have a designer sign yours? <laughs> I didn't have the game at Casual the time. Flex you, know, you don't have a you don't have a shy Pluto expansion either. <sighs> I gotta work on that. I try. I, try. I gotta review Massive that Darkness. Casual I flex over here. Not Massive Darkness. I have to review um, Edge of Darkness too. I've, I've, we finally finished playing like four or five times. A lot is of that, fun. Is that a nice game? Uh, no. We're, we're, it's a cube we're, game. We're supposed, to, we're supposed to talk about dice games. <laughs> yeah. Well, you drop you drop cubes or. Dice are you cubes, cubes. You not drop all, not all. Oh, so you're, oh, you're talking about not John's other game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you drop cubes. It's in the down. coffin, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's all attached. All of his games are ridiculous, though. They're yeah. all good. Mm -hmm. What's the last game we played of his? What was it? The the Pirates one. Oh, I loved that pirate game. You the, backed it, didn't you? I did. I'm waiting for my copy Reckoning now. something? Yeah, Dead Reckoning. No, Dead, Re Dead Reckoners? Dead Reckoning? I don't know. Some Comments below. John D. Yeah. Comments John D. below. John D. John D. Clare's no, pirate game. It. No, honestly, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Edge of Darkness. I picked up really meets... quick, and I tried catching it, but at that point, it's his game here to do the mechanics. I could it's, not. It's literally Edge of Darkness meets a lot of fun, uh, Mystic Veil. Yeah. That's really what it is. It's got a lot of, like, both of those. Your, your, your deck building and de or deck construction, card crafting. Yeah. It's like card crafting system, and it's also got oh, the yeah. dropping of the. I cubes like that. Yeah, because you add you know mechanics onto the cards you already had in your deck. Like you literally like slide the translucent cards in. We could talk about this forever. Oh, yeah. It's good. So it's good, good though. So good. Uh, 
those are our top five dice games. Hopefully, you got some interesting picks to choose we from add, here. We, saw, we added I, some extras. We added some other like new <laughs> mention, though, needed to be tossed in that neither one of you had in your top five. It is more recent. We played this recently. It is Viking theme, which is rare and awesome because Vikings are legit. If you've not played it yet, I highly recommend. <laughs> do you even it. have more Viking in you than me? Oh, I definitely do. Yeah. You do? G genetically, yes. Yeah, because you're Hawaiian, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Reavers of Midgard. Uh, this one is specially type dice, not regular dice like you used to for, you know, like D&D uh, &D and all the rest of that. Don't get me wrong, I love that. Because what else besides D&D &D do you get to use all your collection of dice for? You get to sub in some of your stuff for different games, but eh. But honestly, Reavers of Midgard, it's a little bit, it's not really worker placement because you have to roll the die and the die become resources. You want to show what we can do? Yeah. I've I never seen this before. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a beautiful fire. looking game. Mm. Yeah, your, your die that you roll become resources, essentially. And then boy. using those, you choose which spaces yeah, you want to move on. It. If you want to be aggressive, if you want to like, farm like uh, materials, yeah, what your you're own going player for, boards. Food. Oh, by the way, dice. Yeah. Dice. So, so many dice. Dice, and, and you use all them. Ooh, yeah, use you need all of them. You oh, need them all. wow, look at yeah. that. And they're all specialty. Dice. Yeah, That's they're all right. specialty. Yeah, all the custom meeples. So there's, yeah. There's, oh, it's a pretty game. It's, yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, We played this live on our stream, if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Link the, in the description like a month as ago, well. I think or so. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I'll put a link in the description. Well, I yeah, think... It was I, a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm gonna, well, you're not going to see this game anymore. No! <laughs> yeah, you think that. <laughs> I am the Viking. <laughs> it's a lot I'll of fun, though. It. <laughs> it's really aggressive style yes, play. Yes, it is. Um, Which, but it doesn't me, always. I like it. I mean, it doesn't always have to be aggressive, though. You can going kind for. of do what you want to do. It has a weird worker placement feel, but it's not just that. It has dice and you know, resource and, management too. And you roll the of. die and you gather that as an as a uh, a resource of this. Uh, you'll you'll gather that you roll the die. You'll gather it. It's a resource, and you can utilize that in a plethora of different ways. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's I, a great yeah, game. I, I really had a lot of fun with this. Two to four players, newer. 14 and up, 60 to 120 Highly minutes. recommended. So it's a longer yeah. game. Yeah, a little more involved, but oh, so much fun. So like hopefully fun. you yeah. found Look some that. games that you'd oh. be interested in taking so, a yeah. look at it. Yeah, this is Gray Fox. This is a brand new one. Came out not too, re not too long ago. And the other one is called Arcana Rising. Which oh. I also backed, and now I'm just waiting for that to be shipped. So, yeah. And that's another fun game as well. So... Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Thank you, Ferdinand, for of coming course. by Anytime. and doing a top five Anytime. video. I'm looking forward to do some more with you. Hopefully, after this stuff is all yeah, dealt yeah. with. But we, we've been doing pretty good. Now I saw him yesterday. We got to do some stuff. We did a playthrough. Speaking of that, do check out the Cardboard Stackers channel. Like and subscribe on his videos. His newest one is going to be what's the what's the worker game Wait, called? The we just played yesterday. We so play through. That's gonna be on your. Oh, on your, oh Sisyphus. S S Sisyphus. Sisyphus Corp. Corp. And oh. we're, we we did a play through. Me, him, and Callie. He's gonna have a much better edited video than this Greek one theme? here. Mm -hmm. It should be. Uh, Sisyphus. No, it's yeah. corporate theme. Yeah. It's over Sisyphus. there. Oh. But oh, different spelling. Okay. Check it out. It's a I racing think it's style game. I think game. it's related. I don't okay. Know. Yeah. But we'll have a lot of links down below to let you guys see a lot of different content. We thank you guys so much for watching, Josh. Thanks for giving us your input. For showing yeah. us Reavers. Come of back Midgard. anytime. You're, you're great. You're talking about dice games. I'm a dice head. I mean, come on. <laughs> the next top five video. Do we have an idea what that's gonna be? I yeah I, I do, but I don't think I'll do great at it. <laughs> Top five themed IP games. Yeah, and it has to, it can't be like property. it can't be like you know this IP for this board game meets this other company. It has to actually be from a different game. I don't I know. Have a movie in, or a TV I'm show. in for this. Heck yeah. I know you, you, have, you have stuff. Oh yeah, Cowboy Bebop. Okay. Come on, there's a few different games. Show save it. Save it. Off, off. <laughs> Uh, gotta watch. So we'll have fun with that one. We'll bring Josh in for a top five. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, we look forward to seeing See you guys, guys next, next time. time. And remember to keep on stacking games. Had to get that one in there.